Hi, I'm Nick from Dorman Products, and this is our video on our OE Fix cam phasers for select Ford trucks and SUVs. Ford's involvement with cam phasing is an interesting evolution. On the one hand, they deserve a pat on the back. Cam phasing allows the vehicle's ECM to alter the cam overlap and duration figures dynamically during operation. The benefit to owners is more power, reduced emissions, and reduced NVH. But when cam phasers fail, they normally present themselves as having a loud rattle that's probably most noticeable at startup as the phasers fail to lock correctly. Left unchecked, there are all kinds of VVT system faults that can occur. And the phasers tend to wipe out other components. When they don't lock up, there's lots of wear and shock to this timing system. At Dorman, we're no stranger to these parts, also called the VCT unit by Ford for variable camshaft timing. We reworked the cam phasers in previous iterations of the NA modular engines. Our patented upgrades on those included a full complement of self-adjusting oil sealing vanes to help keep oil pressure high and the dreaded idle clatter at bay, as well as the precision ground surface on the cam phasers cover plate. We were intrigued when we saw a different setup on the redesigned 2017 and up EcoBoost engines. Ford chose to integrate a wiper design similar to the one that we used this time around, but that wasn't quite enough. The rattle continued and the auto start stop system adds stress to the cam phasers that the previous generation of engine didn't have to endure. Ford has redesigned the part in use significantly, but the rattles remain and there are still some first design phasers being sold. If you pull a timing cover and see an exposed clock spring, that's an excellent indication that you're working with the problematic first design. The Dorman phaser appears to be similar to the later design, not the earlier one, but the later four designs are still failing. So seeing a covered phaser that's been replaced under warranty or customer pay is no guarantee of a good part. These fail too. And stakes are even higher this time around since labor required to access these just keeps climbing. The tight packaging of the EcoBoost platform makes this job more difficult than the previous platform. Nobody wants to do this job once, never mind twice. So that's why the Dorman OE fixed cam phasers for the EcoBoost Forge are the ones to get. Our cam phasers have three areas that have been bolstered to end the cycle of replacement Ford truck and SUV owners can feel that they're subject to. Let's start with the ceiling vanes. We didn't rest with our previous design. Even though Ford uses an arrangement that was very reminiscent of the one that we used for our previous OE fix solution for these trucks, we improved them yet again. We changed the profile of the vanes to offer not one, but two sealing services. Kind of like the difference between an X-ring and an O-ring. You can see here, this effectively provides another surface to help seal, promoting long phaser life. Next, we redesigned the locking pin. This is the piece that allows the phasers to lock in at base timing. We made ours longer for deeper engagement and more positive lockup, preventing it from cocking in its bore. And to round things out and help that beefy pin do its thing for a long time, we also upgraded the pin seat. We extended the seat stem for greater seat stability. The big upgrade though is in the pin seat's thickness and profile. The OE pin seat has a tapered face that gets thinnest right around the edge, exactly the spot where it needs support. Hot oil causes the seat material to become brittle and flake, chip and crack. Not only does this cause seat failure, but those hard bits of plastic often cause increased wear to the sealing surface of the veins when they break free and become trapped within the phaser. We made the contact face thicker to reinforce the face's most delicate spot to help prevent fractures at the edge. Next, let's get to the repair aspect of the cam phasers. Frankly speaking, repair of this issue is intensive and not for the faint of heart. You'll want to do this job on a lift most likely. A fairly specialized tool is required for the removal of the VCT fastener, and we include that special service tool with each OE fix phaser. Then you'll just put it back together and replace the lost fluid. Reassembly is the reverse order of removal, but of course, that's easier said than done. If pricing this job for a customer, you may want to price out lots of other things you're going to touch during this job, including the following list. <sighs> Phaser solenoids, cam chain tensioner, both timing chains, timing chain guides, turbo coolant lines, timing cover seals, crank position sensor seal, water pump, water pump seal, valve cover gaskets, intake gasket, serpentine belt, throttle body seal, and the high pressure fuel pump seals and gasket. And I'm sure a few other things will pop up along the way. The labor will be a sunk cost, so explaining the benefits of the additional parts may be an easy way to make a complete repair without the concerns of a comeback. After installation of a set of these dormant OE fix cam phasers, the EcoBoost motors powering these vehicles will go on to live long, productive lives. We hope you like this new solution, and remember, if you need anything at all, the Dorman Technical Support Team is always available to help. Thanks for checking out our video on our OE fix cam phasers. I'm Nick, and I'll see you next time.